NTI day number 35, fifth grade reading. Today, you just have a worksheet over the verbs be and have. The chart below shows the present and past tense forms of be and have. So here's a chart. You have singular subject, which would be I, you, he, she, it, or a noun. So for be in the present form, you would say am, are, is, like I am, you are, he, she, is. Past tense is was, were, was, so I was, you were, he, she, it, was. Present tense is have, have, and has, I have, you have, he, she, it, has. And then the past tense is had, I had, you had, he, she, it, had. Now, if you have plural subjects like you, we, they, so you would say in the present tense, you are, or you would say we, they are. In past tense, you would say you were, or you would say we, they were. Present tense, you would say you have or we, they have. And past tense, you would say you had or we, they had. So it says write the form of be or have in parentheses, the best that best completes each sentence. So number one, polar bears is or are patient hunters. Which form would you use? Is or are patient hunters? Sorry, I thought I had my pen handy. So polar bears, it's plural. The subject is plural. So we know that they're talking about um, present tense. So we know it's R. So you just write R in the blank. Okay, that's how you do that sheet. Number two, polar bear, polar bear cubs is R about the size of a rat when they are born. Number three, the polar bear cub has had been with its mother for nearly a year. Number four, you should have or have seen how big the polar bear was. Number five, its sense of smell is or are very powerful. Number six, the polar bear has or have eaten all the meat. Number seven, they is or are protected from the cold by layers of blubber. And that's your reading for today.